Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing and reviewing these controller paddles for the PS4 controller. Before we move on, it would mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe. I take a lot of effort to make these videos and it really keeps me motivated if you subscribe and like. So without further ado, let's move on. Here it says plug and play, burst button, 10 key setting, handle dedicated. So you can just take this and plug it into your controller. I'll show, I'll take this into more details a bit later. Here it gives you the measurement of it and stuff like that. And here it tells you what all is included in the box. Now let's unbox this. I've removed this tape. I mean I've cut it. So let's open this. There's a plastic thing that's holding this. And there's a user manual over here. So as you can see this is what's written and inside it tells you all the features and how you can use it let's take a look at this so this is the product itself the buttons are quite clicky and these buttons you can use to set the function. You can plug this into your PlayStation controller. So next to your headphone jack, there's a slot. You can plug it over into that. I'll put this on my controller and I'll be back. As you can see, I've applied it to my controller. I also have this analog stick to help with my aim. So you're supposed to keep your ring finger resting on this. And for those of you who play claw, you can keep it like this. And if you use your ring finger to press it with this, you will have a tough time because you need to use your uh, little finger to press it but it's still doable it's just that it's not comfortable personally i don't play claw for so for me this is quite good but one thing to note is that if you have a controller grip it will not work so i have this controller grip which was on my controller and it just wouldn't fit so keep that in mind if you're buying this i'll show some gameplay on this but for now i'll just use it for some time and then i will record some gameplay in fortnite and minecraft for today that's it see you tomorrow two thousand years later hey guys so i'm back I did this recording once before but the thing with it was it crashed and my screen recording did not get saved so I'm doing this again in case you're wondering why all this is there you will come to know in a bit so I have these two buttons mapped to L2 and R2 this one's R2 and this one's L2 so the reason I've done that in Minecraft is because you can use L2 to place blocks and R2 to hit or punch or whatever you want to call it 
and you may be thinking don't you have your triggers for that yes i do have my triggers for that but this controller attachment has a secret feature that they don't mention on amazon when you go to buy it so i'll show you at the back you can see there's one other button and it has turbo written on it right yeah i don't know if you can still see that but that's the button so if you press these three buttons together these two are called m1 and m2 if you press those three together it will turn on turbo mode so i'll show you what that does as of now i already have turbo mode on but i'll put it off just to show you how it works and i'll put it on again uh oh okay i guess that didn't work so well. i'll try it no so once again let's try it i think it has deactivated turbo mode yeah yeah i'm quite sure it has so you can do the same thing to enable turbo mode and you probably will want to keep this mode on most of the times in minecraft so again press that and now you can see when i do it this this breaks the block so much faster and i can also place blocks much faster supposing you are playing minecraft pvp and then someone just randomly shoots you you can have a whole base done in literally 2 seconds so you can also change what functions these buttons do i'll show you how to for that you need to hold the set button for 2 seconds then it will start blinking once it starts blinking you have to choose which one you want to change so supposing i want to change this button to some to do some other function i'll press it once and then after i press it once i'll press it again so i can see as you can see now it is on r1 so you can do that and once you change it you can press the set button so it will lock it on that and you can continue using it but i do want it to be on r1 i'm going to change it back to r2 so r2 you just keep pressing it as many times as you want and set so there you go you can see i'm just like building like crazy and that's why you will want to use this turbo function in minecraft and now i will play the fortnite clip 3 days later Hey guys, I am in the Fortnite recording now. And as you can see, I have a 1v1 map which I'm going to go into. I 
I'll tell you guys some reasons you should use this while playing Fortnite and just the benefits of it. So I firstly I have this map to my jump so as you can see I'm jumping when I press this and then I have this as my edit mode so and I've mapped my touchpad to build. I know how I said in the start that I don't play claw. Okay. It's kind of hard to know what I'm doing because I haven't played for a few days. So if I change this to turbo mode, I can edit really fast. It doesn't always work, but if you get the timing right, it's quite easy to do. It takes some time to get used to at first. Like, as you can see, this is what happened to me, so. Yeah, that it'll take some time to get used to. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're buying this and yes, it'll take you some time to improve. Uh, so if you want to play claw with these paddles it makes it really easy so like it's not too hard just to press this to take out your pickaxe right and then this to pick up something and this i also have this map to my build mode so i have the whole thing and this is my main switch mode and this is my switch mode slash edit so if i hold this it will open my edit mode okay now one really useful thing that i would want to buy this for is usually it's quite hard to shoot with a pistol in on controller in Fortnite so you can map this one of the buttons to um, your shoot now that I have this mapped to my shoot button you can see as how fast I'm able to fire with the pistol just this is as fast as you can get and even with the SMG this is basically like if I had to you can see that's really as fast as I can get not too much faster than that so that's one of the reasons you'd want to use this if you're playing something like Arsenal this is really useful because you don't really build that much any which way in Arsenal and if you're on controller and the, you're versing a person who's on keyboard and mouse and both of you only have a pistol this is the best you can do against them and i love pistols in fortnite especially the suppressed pistol and the gold pistol because the damage on this is insane and the fire rate is insane as well and it's only insane with these paddles so I would recommend you to buy these paddles to conclude 
and it's worth every single rupee you spend on it because if you compare this to the other paddles which are on amazon those are like ranging from 2000 all the way up to 7 8000 for the original sony uh, back button attachment if you buy the same back button attachment from sony in say america you will get it for much cheaper but the they just don't manufacture it in india so the import and stuff it costs way too much and that's why i will recommend you to buy this attachment i'm so messed up sorry for how bad i'm playing so i will conclude the video here by this okay if you're playing a competitive game it gives you a huge advantage so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching